Hi, Tom. I saw this cool timeline you created for the story you were writing. Can you tell me how to create my own timeline? Because I'd really like to experiment with it in the future. Yeah, sure. It's pretty easy to use. I used a timeline setter created by ProPublica. It's an open source software, and I can show you how to use it step by step. Great. Let's get started. First, let's download Xcode and install it on your computer. Well, wait. What is Xcode? Well, Xcode is a suite of tools developed by Apple, which is used for developing software on macOS. Okay. How do I get it? Well, to get Xcode, just go to the following URL. Once you're there, sign up and register as an Apple developer, and then begin downloading Xcode. Once downloading is finished, you must install it as you would any other program on your computer. This will allow your computer to understand and install Ruby and Ruby Gems later. Okay, got it. Now let's launch Terminal on macOS. Well, wait. What is Terminal? Well, Terminal is a window into the inner workings of your computer. It allows you to interact with your computer using command lines. Think of Terminal as the matrix. Okay. So now, how do I open it on my computer? Well, to open a terminal, go to Finder, Application, Utilities. And click on the terminal icon. That's easy. Now let's make a new folder. Why do I need to make a new folder? You need to do this in order to tell the computer where you want Ruby and Ruby Gems programs that we're going to install to be saved. In order to do this, type the following: All commands such as mkdir must be lowercase, or else they will not work. Wait, what does that command mean? M K D I R. The command M K D I R is short for make directory. You are making the directory called S R C to install Ruby and Ruby Gems into. Okay, now what? Type the following. C D means change directory. You now want to change the directory to the one that you just created, which is S R C. Okay, now we are ready to download Ruby and Ruby Gems in Terminal. Okay, but before I download them, what exactly are Ruby and Ruby Gems? Ruby is a computer language used to create software. Xcode cannot create software on its own. While Xcode does provide tools and facilitate programming, a computer or programming language must also be used to create programs. Ruby Gems. Is an application that allows your computer to manage and install small packages of Ruby programs called gems. The timeline setter we will install in the next few steps is a gem. Okay, so how do I download them? In order to do this, type the following. This command is basically telling your computer to download Ruby and Ruby gems from these web locations. Ruby and Ruby Gems will not work automatically after you downloaded them. You need to install these applications. But here, you just can't really visualize what you're doing. It is all in numbers and letters in code. Okay, now I think I'm getting it. To install Ruby, type the following. To install Ruby Gems, type the following. After you install Ruby Gems, make sure to run the following command to make sure you have the latest version of these programs. Okay, got it. After you install Ruby and Ruby Gems, you need to add the following folder to your path in order for the terminal to know where the Ruby and Gem commands are. The easiest way to do this is by typing the following. Type Control X to exit, and type Y to save. Type this as well.